thought John and Groats itself was as I expected, but I did like Dunsby Head. Yeah. That was nice uh, well worth the walk up there to um, to see that. Um, Keisha had her most northerly dog poo you can have in the British Isles. Well, not the British Isles, I'm still confused about that. On the mainland of the United Kingdom. So, um, yes. Well, we had a nice cup of tea. There was a cafe open. Oh, yeah. There was John O'Groats Cafe, and we had a scone. We really wanted a Scottish breakfast or a bacon butty, but they weren't serving that. But anyway, we had a nice scone, nice cup of tea, and I bought some slippers. See my feet warm in the van. We're at the northernmost point of the United Kingdom now. So the good news is, of course, that I can now go south on my holidays from here. <laughs> so that's it. So from this point on, big smiles because I'm going south on my holidays. Yay! <laughs> Uh, not talking to me, obviously. Hi all, um, just checking in at the end of a very interesting and quite long day. Longer for Steve because he's been doing all the driving. Only day four. Only day four? Or is it day five? Oh, it's day five. Is it? I don't know. Okay, it's four or five anyway. We did Coventry. We did two nights at Edinburgh, we've done Bewley, so this is our fifth night. Yeah, we did our homework and the East Coast is not supposed to be the best for um, sightseeing. Uh, and, especially when you can't actually see anything. Yeah, so especially it's, when it's winter and it's a bit yeah. rainy. And but, yeah, but we did see it. one thing. A spoiler alert. Oh my God, it was brilliant. We met Speedo Mick. He got supplies on board. Anything we can give you, or you? I don't know. What do you want? Water or? We've got everything on there. No, I'm, all, I'm all right, honestly. Okay, mate. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Brilliant. Right, you better keep moving. Yeah. Look, listen. Can you do me a favour? Yeah. That guy, literally as it says on the tin, is in a pair of speedos with a backpack. He was soaking wet, he was freezing cold, and he was trying to take pictures of mm. and do posts of himself because you think these people have got, like, support teams with them. No, he was just, like, literally completely... Wandering along in his, his pants, basically. Wandering along in his pants on a deserted road. And Steve, we went past him and we waved and he waved at us. And then Steve, well, I've, got to, I've just got to go back. And, uh, yeah, so we, we went back. We hid along a little road. And as he walked along, um, we met him and spent a bit of time with him. And he asked us to do a move, like a little video of him for so him, that he could post media. it for his social media. The official photographer of Speedo Mick. <laughs> Are we allowed to shout at you? <laughs> Shall I shout at you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. So, yeah, so I'm just going to say a few things. Okay. okay. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for all your donations, man. It's New Year's Day, and uh, this was my attempt 
and uh, doing some good, a little, doing it. Just, just trying to make a little bit of a difference in uh, in people's lives. You know what I mean? And also for keeping you away. So if you can donate, please go onto the GoFundMe page. Speed on it, last stomp. This is me last stomp in my knickers. Do you know what I mean? So uh, yeah, I really appreciate all the support you gave me over the years and certainly on this one. So uh, yeah, I'm just trying to tackle the very, the very Dale Bray at the moment, which is uh, a big massive hill in Scotland anyway. But yeah, thank you so much for all your support. Go on, thank you. Scotland, I love you, but you're pretty cold. <laughs> what a legend. Good luck! It's my year. He is such a legend, that man. Cheers, Dave. Really, him. yeah, cheers. Oh. He's he's raised eight hundred thousand pounds plus so far, yeah. and this is his last. This is his last, last one. Trip. Yeah. So, so yeah. that was absolutely amazing. And then uh, from then, so it literally went downhill from there. So we yeah. came downhill from where we met him, and then we ended up. Um, we we're supposed to be sort of north of Wick, um, where Chris had booked uh, off pitch up, um, <laughs> which which we've always had. It's always been reasonably good. But we turned up at this uh, this thing, no idea where, and it was supposed to be hard standing. Well, first of all, we went up to yeah. this this tiny little track because the uh, the postcode took us somewhere completely different to where it actually was. So we eventually found it, and we knew it was the right place because it did have a sign saying "from five pounds." And we drove past this little cottage down a very steep hill onto mm. basically what was a cliff. With them, it was like it looked like somebody's back garden. So we we yeah. backed up before we got on the grass because I think think yeah. we would have just been. And, and that was a good incline as well. I mean, Owen True did well to well, it's done brilliantly today, but to pull out and then reverse back onto the, onto the road. Um, yeah. And then so we thought, well, let's just go on to John O'Groats because again, the other one that's a little bit hit and miss is part for night. They're getting a lot of. Um, stick at the moment as uh, apparently councils and things are using park for night to, to find out places that people are parking so they can put up no, no parking sign and some of the rubbish we saw down the road i think we, we did a bit of film of that yeah see was, i've had lots yeah. of people saying you could stay at john and groats in the car park overnight yeah. but as soon as you get to the car park it says no overnight camping but we're not the sort of people to sort of flout the we rules. We don't do that. We don't We'd do rather that. like to do it. But anyway. And that's why we tried to book Pitch Up. Because yeah. I like to know where we are and where we're staying. But that let us down. Sorry, Pitch Up. Yeah. But... So we thought we'd embrace the van life thing. And, and the hotel, Seaview Hotel, down here. Everything's shut. I mean, obviously, it is, it is literally the first of, first of um, whatever it is, first of January uh, on a Sunday. Which means that tomorrow's the bank holiday as well. So you get the free bank holiday. So it's literally shut down. But the Seaview Hotel is shut. Uh, but it did say on Park for Night that he's happy for you to stay in the car park. So I thought, well, let's give him a ring. And anyway, the guy said, yeah, yeah, park up uh, opposite. Don't need to come in for food. We're not open or anything. Um, we, which, again, I'm not really a fan of just... Well, we're not fans of not contributing somehow. Well, certainly don't leave it in more of a mess than you turned up, number one. But number two is how can we you know, pay our way somehow? But he wasn't having any of it, and he, and and what he did is is they parked us in a really flat pitch, which is where we are now. This is where we parked it in John O'Groats. We're not sure whether it's an official campsite, and we booked it, or whether the kind of host, hostilia landlord over at the Sea View. Um, was very kind in that estate here anyway, so. so we're off grid and we're literally cooking on gas. <clears throat> so what do we have to slum it with because we're we're off grid? Compromised food is what? Yeah, well I thought I'd um go easy tonight, so I'm doing teriyaki noodles with salmon, mushrooms, spring onions, ginger. 
spinach and whoop. and this is brilliant look <laughs> you put it put it under the doom ray to shut it up <laughs> um yeah okay. like what she does with me <laughs> I believe that's called a Dutch oven. Well, it's quite easy really, just a bit of bed and a bit of... I've got this nice teriyaki sauce from the farm... Is it the farm shop and kitchen on the M6? Oh, in Yorkshire? Yeah, but it's apparently... It's, well, not apparently, you spent £15, you got £10 off a litre of fuel. That's right. Tools, so I had to... Yeah. I thought, you know, it would be done, wouldn't it? So I'll put the bed, I'm going to put that to one side. And then, whoop! Whoop! Edit. Edit that bit. Nope. The salmon's going now. I got this from Scotland and I thought it might be Scottish salmon, but it's from Norway. Ah, yeah, Norwegian it's salmon. It's across the water. It's resting. Yeah, we'll come back to that when it's finished. Alright, that Keisha. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've been sneezing because of the teriyaki, haven't you? Yeah. See? Anyway, so we'll catch up with you uh, tomorrow when if we d if we can actually see anything because it's like four o'clock in the afternoon. You can't see a thing at the moment. Still got the Christmas tree up. Yeah. Oh yeah. Still Christmas tree. Still hanging still on Christmas, to it. Still Christmas, isn't it? Still yeah. having a, we're just having a chill out and a glass of wine and a, and a reflect on the day. So we'll um, we'll catch up tomorrow. Cheers. 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 Cheers everyone. Happy New Year. Yeah. Great twenty twenty.